and welcome back to No Moria. Um, where we kind of been busy. Um, basically, we've been trying to figure out how to get this door to work, and so <laughs> I don't know how. Uh, but this happened. We've got two alpacas for some reason living in this one little tiny pasture, which is only suited for one. But somehow I got two. It clearly says only one, yet I still have two. But it's fine. Uh, more the merrier, I guess. Um, maybe this will help us get that switch pushed when the bad guys show up, but we'll see. <laughs> got the door set up again, because, like I said, I don't know. The only thing I can think of uh, between this and what the plans were, or the pictures I saw of the design was... Oh, shoot. Oh, there's the music. Um, <laughs> I didn't think they were going to be... Oh, I guess it's the first day of fall was that uh, basically this kind of leads straight into the pasture. So instead of having it like cornered right here, it goes straight into it. So there's no doors or anything. So it's just tons and tons of trap doors. And so that scares them into going the one direction that the goblins are coming towards. It's the only thing I can think of. Unless they change the AI, because obviously we've seen they want to actually fight the animals. Actually, is there a way to change that? No, there's no options. I was going to say make them more like skittish than brave <laughs> but there we go we got goblins attacking let's find out what we got to face and then I have to go and light up some stuff so basically I haven't been doing much other than kind of tidying up things uh, our people weren't making enough bolts like they should have so I got that issue all solved oh here you are okay well I got one two three four goblin raiders <laughs> oh man um, looks like, yeah, one goblin so or fighter with a sword and shield, two goblin soldiers in iron with a claymore and a warhammer, a two-headed ogre, and then what's this guy? A goblin soldier with a sword? Really? That's it? Equipment? Yeah, just, oh, I see, that's a warhammer, or a hammer, too. Usually it's either one or both. They usually don't have just one weapon. Um, oh my goodness, yeah. A claymore and a warhammer. That's going to be devastating. Like I said, we've been mining and doing stuff and just tidying up things and I still don't have iron. <laughs> it's taken forever. Like, I'm, I'm going to show you guys because i got to light up some stuff. But basically, oh, and animals have been taken care of. We don't really need any more alpacas. So they're going to still be making babies. But we got plenty of wool now. I got the yaks going a little bit longer because we still need quite a bit of milk, I think. I'll check the stocks later, but we need it for cheese because we're making lots and lots of omelets. Because um, those are pretty nice. I mean, we got tons of eggs, might as well. This is all set up, first of all. So I got some uh, a bunch of stone put in there. There's like, I don't know, I want to say six or so of these stone ones walking around. Maybe it's just five, but they keep like, going inside each other and stuff. So I want to say there's six down here, actually. There is. Look at this. Six. So we'll see how the stone ones do. Like I said, if we have to, we could always throw in a bunch of metal. Like, I have a ton of spare copper I could throw in there. Something we're not really in need of. I also have a ton of platinum, to be honest, though, too. Because we've been mining like crazy down here. Trying to get iron, and I've yet to find that much. I have found some, but the trouble is we can't mine it. I'll explain that in one second as soon as we get down here. So we're starting a new area, trying to mine out. Holy cow, that's a lot of gold. Um trying to look for some more iron and all this didn't find any iron lots and lots of lead platinum up the wazoo coal up the wazoo right here is a little bit of coal this is all platinum it's not silver it's not tin it's platinum so that's gonna be very nice jewelry one day or like whoa did you finally find some no that's still coal <laughs> coal and iron look so similar but basically we've been just mining like crazy as you can see and I still haven't found any except for this one spot and this is the reason why we can't mine it. It's because if we go over here, we see there's a cave right on the other side of this. Now, normally that wouldn't be such a bad deal because as we've already done one cave. We've done actually two caves. This was part of a cave over here. Trouble is, this cave isn't like these caves in that it, um, it spreads. <laughs> this one cave will go in ahead and touch one other cave. I kind of followed it for a while and it looks like it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger. So I'm not quite ready to open up this can of worms. Like one day we will, but I want to have all my soldiers decked out in iron and it's going to take more time in protecting them and having, because basically once we open this up, there's no way we can probably light the whole thing up really quickly. 
So we're going to have to have troops down here guarding our miners all the time. And that's another thing is protection for the miners and the people that come down here. Basically, our miners have leather armor, which is fine. It kind of protects them from the skeletons and the zombies. Like, zombies are no big deal. As long as you got armor, you can't get bit, really, from the zombies, as long as you have armor, I believe. But the skeletons will spawn in sometimes with armor and war and weapons as well, just like goblins. So sometimes they come in with some big weapons and they could do some damage to your leathered clad miners. Um, but the other thing is I don't have armor for all the other workers that would come down here. Mainly the builders because they're hauling whenever they're not building. So I'd have builders coming down here picking up all this ore and then my luck a zombie would come and bite them. <laughs> a skeleton would kill them afterwards too. And then I'd have a zombie outbreak and that would not be fun. But um, one day. One day we will open that up. So let's go ahead and put a torch over here, though. Just because we want this lit up before we leave upstairs. So, actually, we're going to need to use two torches. That's fine. I can put a torch over here, kind of light up, start doing some more strip mining. We're going up a level, just because I forgot that I had changed the settings. So we should get some iron up here, where it's less likely that we're going to run into more stuff that we don't need. Um birch torch. I had a space right there. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, I went there because we want to light up this area. And then we're here. Should light up this area. About 10 spaces. I don't know if I mentioned this. 10 spaces from the torch is just about right. I mean, you could go 11, but when you start doing the doubles, it gets a little iffy in that uh, middle section sometimes. So there we go. That's all set up. Let's go ahead pause again. I'm pretty sure I had the gates closed. Just because I think we might have to change our door setups really like if they don't do it again I'm gonna have a backup gnome ready to step on the switch um, to get that going another thing we might have to do is add more trap doors which is gonna be fun let's just say that because right now I have this little weird part where for some reason we get a bunch of water right here um, so basically we gotta like dig from above and then fill it with dirt because this is gonna be the path Basically, it's like six this way, and then it curves, and it comes down. And that means we got to change all this, too. Because <laughs> I didn't think about that, having to expand farther this way. I thought, nah, we'd probably have to go this way more, but not this way. Completely forgot. Um, so let's do this. Everything's locked down here. Perfect. Let's set up the guard post, and let's do this. So let's see. There's an area. Um, let's go ahead and put a little one right here. And this is going to be clean foundations. Okay. And we want to suspend this. And hopefully nobody comes here. And if anything, we're going to put this at like the lowest priority ever. So that nobody comes to feed these guys right in the middle of this and drop somebody down in that pit. Okay. And then range troops, just in case they break through. Um... We're just going to put a couple guard spots right here. Just so we can have some shots off right off the bat. Dump slingers. Dump slingers. And then dump slingers. We're going overtime just to make sure. Because they have to bash through all these doors. And I don't want to have to come back here. Oops. There. And then literally dirtiers. But one cool thing though. While we were off doing this. Is we researched something too. We'll let them go ahead and do that, and we'll let this play out. And then somebody please open up this door. Thank you. Oh, we need these two. Scolding bringers. Bam. Almost forgot about these guys. In case they get through, we gotta have a backup plan, right? Okay. And then that's gonna get opened, and then they should come through here. And you two better step on that pressure plate, otherwise we're gonna have to use these guys again. Um, yeah, we had this. Um... Iwisto has invented the prosthetic arm, prosthetic hand, prosthetic leg, and prosthetic foot. So if somebody loses a limb, we can now replace it, and they can put them back into ship shape. Very cool. Uh, I've never actually had somebody lose a limb, but I am always kind of more cautious when I play this game. I mean, Nomoria is one of those games where it's 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 kind of hard to replace good people. You know what I mean? Like we could get more gnomes if we lose somebody, no problem. But it's just getting good ones to replace the ones that you've been working on for years and years and years to get them to the level where they're actually useful <laughs> like we've seen these guys take forever to build 
Imagine if I lost all my builders, how long it would take to build anything in it again? It'd take forever. Um, same with mining. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to think about mining. Somebody would be down there mining iron for like a whole day before we actually got ore from it. Okay. These guys are going to be bashing through those doors for quite a while, so let's speed it up a little bit. And then we'll slow it down so we make sure that they don't kill us all. Because, <laughs> yeah, those... Uh, a Warhammer and a Claymore. What are the odds? Okay, so we got bronze bolts up here. There's no bronze ammo. I'm not sure why they haven't... Oh! There's no extra stockpiles for that. Let's make some extra one up here. Stockpile. Um, What did I do? Just three? Three right there. Make this a high priority. And let's see what's under weapons. Ranged. Uh, musket rounds. There we go. Basically, I had to figure that out too. I had them set to make 15 and 15 of bronze bolts and muskets, and they weren't making anymore, even though there was none up here in the stockpiles. That's why we got lapis ones, because I had to make something so that we could shoot some uh, golems. And apparently, it doesn't consider that one batch makes like 32 or something like that, and so I had to up it to like 64 just so that they would have extra bolts and stuff. As you can see, there's only two extra bolts of bronze up here. Even after I bumped it up to 64. <laughs> okay. But this is still so weird. Like, I've never had that happen where they just stuck two guys in there at once. Like, they're both male, so there's no, you know, funny business. But it's just weird that they stuck two. Oh, we got to close this door, too. Launch right door. Pole lever. And before we forget anything, we have to make sure. I don't think they've killed anything. But just to make sure, suspend this. We don't want them picking up bodies. Um, I'm going to go ahead and suspend this, and that should be it. I don't have any door ones anymore. Shouldn't have any issues. Cross our fingers. I just, again, I put too many doors in, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Good. Fuck them in there. Yeah, we're going to have to make, like, if this doesn't work, and I'm correct about the whole lineup, there's no way I can move this over here, because this would be... Um, I'd have the space, but it's still going to be a pain for them to still come around the right corner to step on the switch. So there's no room for me to put a switch plus the pasture, really. Plus, we're going to lose so much terrain that I don't have any traps on, so I think it'd be easier just to go like this. Do the doors, slow them down, and then have like a ton of these set up. So that gives the fast ones time to get here. Oop! 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 Oh my goodness, I forgot to slow down. <laughs> oh man! Alright, um, oh man, a goblin spotted, goblin, 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 two edged ogre, goblin, 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 and goblin. Okay, what, oh my goodness, what fell down? Basically, the four raiders are here. We got all of our part time warriors here. Please tell me no one fell down the hole. Besides the bad guys. <gasps> oh, we did it, just barely. That was weird. Like, our guy stepped on the switch for some reason before the alpacas even bothered to run. See? I don't know if they changed the mechanics or what, but... Hmm. Well, this gives us a good idea, though. Perhaps we don't need to bother with the alpacas. Just think about it. These guys hit here way before the rest did. They were still on the, the trap doors when they hit that, so... That means if we had the doors here... These were all trap doors. That would give them enough time for the raiders to run through here, hit the pressure plate, which would be here, possibly, and then they would actually activate the trap doors and knock all the big guys down, and they would just leave us with raiders to kill, which is no biggie. Raiders are easy peasy. So, uh, we might have to do that. But really, no one fell down here, please? No, they didn't. Oh, look at this. We got you all. We got the big guns down here, and the little ones up here are just going to get destroyed. Um... Do I want to put some gunners up here now? Just kind of speed these up. I think those guys should be able to handle them. It's raiders. <laughs> Apaka is born. Goblin has died. Okay. Let's go ahead and test this out, though, while those guys are busy. And let's pull that door. It means I'm going to have to redo this door system, which is fine. It's fine. It happens. I mean, I'll probably just have to put this one over here, basically. And then we just have to move this wall like so. Okay. Oh! Well, that's not a good sign. 
Oh my goodness, a goblin corpse. Goblin corpse. Goblin left arm, goblin right arm, and another goblin corpse. Wow. Alright, um... Let's remove this designation then real quick before they actually step on that and send that alpaca to its death. Let's see, Disney area guard. Stick it right here just to make sure you don't drop that poor sucker down there. Um, what was it? The Cleveland Foundations? Yes. I don't know what time it is. I'm just going to do all three right now. But just emergency sakes. No, you stepped on it anyways. Luckily he wasn't there. You guys, we... Oh my goodness. Okay. They were going to go there because the was already set. Um, that's fine. So he made it there. <laughs> Alpaca almost died. He's going to flip the switch. Let's go ahead and set these guys down here now then. Disney area. I should have left this one from before, but if we have to change this, then I have to move it anyways. Cleaning foundations. And then this golden bringers. And then we'll bring the gunners if we need to, but I think these guys should be able to get killed enough. Okay. Flip that switch and see the golems in action. Look at that. I love that the golems actually go after them. And like I said last time, I think, I was worried that they wouldn't actually seek out the goblins and we'd end up sitting here with, like, both of them just wandering around looking at each other like, huh, what do you guys want to do? Bauxite golem has died. A yak has been born. Lots of animals being born. So this is just another test to show you guys. That's a lot of golems. Like, if we were to fight that many golems, we'd probably lose at least one or two people. So, another one's died. What's this? Hishwa has created a legendary mushroom tea. Oh, good for you, Hishwa. <laughs> another bauxite golem has died. Wow. These iron guys are not messing around. I mean, th that's why I didn't want to mess with them. That claymore and warhammer. There's some nasty things. A dirt golem has died. So far, these dirt, these golems are not doing good. Another one died. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Of course, there is an ogre in there probably just tanking everything. Another box site goes almost died. That's insane. I guess we're gonna have to. Oh, there goes a the dirt one. I think dirt ones are pretty much useless at this point. Those are gonna be training dummies pretty much from now on. <laughs> that just. Somebody lost a limb. Oh, there goes the bauxite. Um, yeah. Not a single scratch on, on, oh my goodness. Alright then. Gunners, your turn. <laughs> I tried, golems. I tried. You just didn't do very well. Um, the dump slingers. This could take a while, so they might as well set them all up here for a while. That's just nuts. I really thought they'd kill at least one goblin. I mean, granted, there's no raiders, so they couldn't get that easy kill, but seriously, this guy has no pants. How could you not kill a guy with no pants on? Okay. They still have all their weapons, so no one got hurt in the arms. So let's check that combat, just to see if it was all goblins doing the kills. Group fight. Oh, here we go. This is a massive group fight. Um... Dirt Golem's gazed, dazed. Dirt Golem was dead. Mm -hmm. Goblin falls to the ground, so they got one hit there. Goblin is suffocating. They didn't even kill one with a suffocation? That's nuts. Dazed. Still, there's another one suffocating. Dazed, dazed, dazed. Oh my goodness. So clearly these guys aren't up to par for the iron. Because they literally did nothing to them. That's nuts. I mean, they, they pretty much they smashed them. They're like Warhammers because they're stone, I'm thinking. So they do that nice blunt damage. So that's why we had suffocation, because they hit them in the armor so hard that it, they felt it. But yeah, we're going to go with metal golems, I think. Which is fine. We'll just stick a couple down there for test purposes. I'm going to have to do a lot of extra mining now, but let's see, these guys should be showing up soon. i have to get some more ammo, uh, ammo stockpiles down here. Okay, so that one has now lost its armor. Oh my goodness. Oh! Oh, I didn't think about that. They just respawned instantly. That's the one perk about the golems. 
being down here is because they just instantly killed them all there's all this clutter and so now they're all stuck down here with all that clutter and so now they have to kill them basically over again okay we'll do some shooting assistance see if they get any kills probably not that one's bleeding because we shot him in the chest now it is dead okay so there's two two iron ones and a two-headed ogre yeah, we don't want to do that. That Warhammer is just too nasty. If we get rid of the Warhammer, then we can go in there. Warhammer. Oh, or the Ogre. I was thinking Ogre, too. Pull the lever. Not the stockpile. Okay. This should do it. Oh, you killed it anyways. Dang. It was like, a, well, I guess. There was like six, eight guys right there just all unloaded on that one goblin. Come on, pull the lever. Let's do some hand-to-hand -hand real quick. It's been a while since we trashed some goblins. Okay, no, don't shoot it. Don't shoot it, please. Goblin fighter attack with clean foundations and the golden bringers. Kill it. There we go. <laughs> that was so quick. All right, and there we go. All done. Um, So, lessons learned. The door is not working. So we're going to get rid of the alpacas, basically. Which is fine, to be honest, because it's kind of a pain with the guys coming to go feed them all the time. Constantly having to worry about that being the wrong time. And then this is going to be none, none, and none. It just means we're going to have to make a lot of trapdoors. And then that means I'm going to make a lot more windmills. Which is fine, it happens. Oh, no, no, wait, no. What am I doing? None. There we go. Whew. Very nice. Okay, let's go back here real quick, though. I want to see who destroyed all those goblins. Was it the first? No. Yes? No. It should have been on the second. No, it was on the first. Group fight. Here we go. Goblin. Oh, yeah, this is when the goblins fell. Goblin fell on the two-headed ogre. Oh, two-headed ogre fell on the goblin. Goblin fell on the goblin. And then goblin versus goblin. <laughs> Group fight. Okay. So, kicks alpaca. Oh, this is the alpaca fight. Oh, and still. Da, da, da. Any deaths in that one? No. This one's where all the deaths happened. Okay. Mango temporarily blinded. Can no longer walk. Oh, right here. Crushing the bone and crushing, oh yeah, crushing the muscle and whatever. <laughs> right leg has been mangled and right leg is bleeding. Um, can't see again. So Kadaka got the goblin killed with crushing the brain. Ooh, iron warhammer or no iron hammer would do that. Okay. What else we got here? Back up close to the ground. Back up close to the ground. And mangled and blinded. Uh, Stow, Bronze Shield, Crush the Heart, okay. Like, I don't even have enough steel to make shields and stuff. Like, we still don't have that much steel. Left leg has been slicing through the bone. Oh, here we go. Can no longer walk, so that's, it sliced its leg. Who did that? Stow again, with his hand axe. Somebody messed up a lot of people here. Let's see again. Lauren, Bonnie... Down my muscle. Alpaca gets up. Right arm. Here we go. There it is again. Still with his iron hand axe. Muscle slicing through the bone. A goblin lost his right arm. Wow. Still, you're vicious. And then here's the Kladaka again. Uh, killing somebody. And then... Kladaka again with the last kill. That is nuts. So... Stow was mangling them up, and then Kladaka was killing them all. Very nice teamwork. Okay. Whew. Okay. Let's uh, hurry up and get rid of all that stuff before the the goblin spawn or golem spawn in. Quickly, just pick it all up. I don't care who butchers it. Just pick it up. I think this is kind of a higher priority. And then pick up all that armor real quick. And then I'm pretty sure we got this set up for all those slivers. We might as well pick them up while we're in there. Actually, we should have left those people on guard duty. I messed up with that one. That's like highest. Yes, that's level one. Okay. Sweet. So now we can go back to mining again. 
and mining and smelting because we need to do so many trapdoors now. Okay, quickly, quickly. Actually, before I forget, cleaning foundations. That should be good. And then this golden bringer is just for backup because these are stone golems. And we are frail, frail gnomes. <laughs> So yeah, let's see, if I got this right, I remember it was six, so it was one, two, three, oh shoot, four, five, six. So we gotta go all the way out here. And that's why I went so deep, because I figured in case I messed up someplace, I didn't want to have to be doing this here, on this level, because there's water right above. So if I took out, well, technically I think there's a ceiling still there, but just in case, we don't flood ourselves. So now we got a lot of remodeling to do. So let's go ahead and do that while we're here. Terrain. Um, <sighs> I mean, do we honestly want all that dirt in there again? It did no good at all. It pretty much just gave them a chance to become legendary things. So let's get all the dirt out. It just it, it didn't pay off at all. Um, oh man, I have to mine first. I don't know where I'm going to stick all this dirt. There's a lot. Like this whole little chunk pretty much full of dirt and now I'm gonna have even more because I dig I have to dig this all out now let's go ahead and dig this out like so and then let's go ahead and bring this out a little bit more do we really need to dig that part out not really this can go out a little bit actually we do let's make it somewhat nice <laughs> okay Somebody go get those goblins quickly, please. We need the meats. There you go. That guy got messed up. He lost like an arm and a leg, it looks like. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. So we got this going. Let's speed it up again since we should be okay. We can throw those guys in there real quickly. So power, we need definitely more power. Let's start planning this out while I'm thinking of it. Um, that's closed. So we're going to have to lose <laughs> still an arm up here. Come on, guys. We have to get rid of that wall and then this wall. Okay. And then we got to dig like crazy. So once those are out of the way, all these stone doors... Alright, um, how are we going to do this? We need to do, basically, a wall over here so nobody steps on that pressure plate. And then we have to flip. Oh, how are we going to get them in there now? Oh wait, that's right. I had this planned out before because I had the same issue before these guys showed up. This is why I know. <laughs> I got to mine out this wall so that they can get in here to pull these doors back in. And they have some place to get in without having to open that door. And then I need to build stone door so that they quit using this entrance way. Just a stone, I mean stone wall. Just temporarily. Poxide. Build. Right there. See, this is, otherwise I can't put the doors. Somebody's going to be walking over here and then boom. Now you're going to fall down that hole. Okay, so that's all dug out. Let's go ahead and go back to, let's see. We need to deconstruct this now. And then, oh my goodness, all that dirt. We need to move pronto. And now the guys are not on duty. See, this is why I do it. Because you never know. Go back to duty. Okay, and then we need to designate a stockpile. Pretty much, this should be enough, maybe. And this will be highest. And this will be... Just get all that dirt out of there right now. Okay. And then while you're doing that, go ahead and get a bunch of this stone back into there. Just so we don't have to deal with that. And then I can always remove the designation. And... Oxide. Sweet. And actually, I think I got you guys set up to do that. So let's do this. You don't have to be on duty anymore. Go haul. If you haul quick enough, then you don't have to guard anything. Perfect. Okay. Train. Let's get rid of this. What's this? A merchant from the, the mushed lands. Okay. Sweet. I didn't want to come back upstairs. We need to go open up the gate now. 
Uh, right here. Or do we want to just bother opening up this one? We could do this one, I guess. Pull lever. And while we're up here, we might as well replace these doors. <gasps> no! I forgot to watch the clock, guys. Well, darn it. <laughs> well, that's good, though. We got this tested out thoroughly, so we know we have to change this. So that means I'm going to be busy digging out lots and lots of these holes, because I have to dig it through all these levels again. Um, and then we'll do some trading, get some iron. We're going to smelt all that iron armor and that steel armor. Probably won't be able to get the iron armor steel, because we still need lots. But maybe we can start getting some steel weapons going. Um... At least the shields. I think we can do... We have iron weapons. We need to upgrade their shields for some more bashing damage. And probably blocking. I don't know if that makes any difference. And I will see you guys next time.